All right, what's going on, guys? We're out here today. We did like a 60 mile run to get out here to some good grounds. We got the boys in the water. I just hopped out. I had already shot some fish, but we're going to throw this one in the cooler. We've already got like a bunch of big Nassau's in here. I shot like a 45 pound black grouper here. Let me take a look at that. There's the, that's a fresh Nassau they just shot. There's a giant black down there somewhere you'll see in the video, but yeah, stay tuned for some sick diving. All right, welcome back everyone. So right here, the um, GoPro angle was a little off, but stay tuned because it does get a lot better throughout the video. I fixed it up and you're able to see everything from this point on. But right here, I'm just making a dive, a little shallow dive on a nice Nassau grouper. And these, these fish are pretty easy. You just gotta stay kinda calm and just make a slower dive on them and they'll just sit kinda still for you. So I hit this one with a perfect stone shot and yeah, just keep watching. The, the gopher angle will get a lot better. And again, as I say in every spearfishing video, always make sure to bring your fish after. This one was already stoned, but I just wanted to make sure. It might have been a spine shot that I hit him with, so he could have technically still been alive. So it's always nicer to put him out of their misery. And it also makes a lot less mess on the boat with a fish flapping around and putting blood everywhere. But anyways, right back into it. This is my buddy Hugo making a dive on yet another nice Nassau. And as I said before, they're they're one of the easier groupers to shoot. You kind of just really just have to make a nice slow paced dive on them. And they, they shouldn't move too much. They'll always look at you head on. And just like this, you wait for them to turn just like he did. And then you get a good broadside shot on them. So right here actually I had spotted from a distance of 45 pound or so black grouper just kind of rock up around here and I just went down there with the light and I was kind of looking for him and you'll see I spot him coming up pretty soon here and you're going to have to watch carefully I'm going to put it in slow motion for you and you'll just kind of spot his tail just give it a second and you'll see. So right there you'll see his tail I spot him with the light and here quickly I line up on him because I wanted to hit him higher up in the tail meat and try and get a holding shot and I let it rip but as I hit him you'll see I hit the rock behind him so I did hit him well and he was bleeding out but the tip did not deploy in him because I hit the rock behind him so now basically me my brother and hugo we're just swimming around on a mission trying to find this thing going down here on this dive i i'm gonna cut out a lot of stuff i'm just gonna show one back dive trying to find him you know you could see the blood so we knew the general area that he was in so we're just kind of going down there with a light looking in every hole just trying to find any piece of that fish that we can find just to locate him and know where he is but on this dive, unfortunately, I do not spot him. And I kind of got bored of turning on the GoPro for every dive because we were not finding him. And of course, the one time I don't turn on my GoPro, I turn, turn around and I just, I see this fish just sitting so broadside for me. But you'll see coming up after this dive here, I'll put it in slow motion. You'll see right after I hit the fish. And after that, then you'll see the retrieval and everything as well. But yeah, this fish was pretty wounded, so it ended up being a pretty easy retrieval. And yeah, the fish was very nice. It went 42 gutted, so it was definitely over that 45 pound range hole. Thank you. That's easy 40, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, get him. Go. Ah. Oh. Oh, let's go. What you got that pound buzz? Nice one, boy. And um, right there, you saw Hugo. He got a nice Nassau. This was right after that black grouper. I got out of the water to drive for a bit. And this is my brother. I handed him my GoPro, and he didn't line it up too well. But this is the only fish he gets on film. A very nice mutton snapper. But while he's shooting this mutton snapper you'll see him point he they were looking for this black group and he spots where it is and unfortunately he did not get it on clip but you'll see the fish here in two seconds toby's killing it they got sharks around them though while we're coming up You guys getting out? Yep. Oh, getting... oh, nice shot, dude. And then literally right on the next spot, Hugo jumps in and shoots this 35-pound black grouper. And there was a bunch of sharks around, so I just put a second shot on him because I wanted to guarantee the sharks wouldn't get anywhere near him. And yeah, he does not have a GoPro on his head, so he did not get it on clip, unfortunately. Go, 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 go. Open too. Oh, it isn't mutton, but it's <laughs> it's, still, it's close. It's still, yeah. It definitely racks up off the bank a little bit. So much fun to shoot that thing like that too. Yeah, right. And right here, a uh, big male hogfish swam out, and Hugo went down and stoned him. But yeah, you'll see in that last clip, I cut out a lot of the cussing. Just wanted to be a little bit more respectful to some of the viewers, and that was a bit ridiculous. It was just kind of back to back, so at least with that clip, I made sure to cut it all out. So, right here, we left some of the deeper water, we moved into some shallower stuff, and right here, a nice hogfish kind of gave me an easy broadside shot, but yeah, I, I kind of switch to a sling here just for some fun and i like the the clips that i get with the sling so right after this hogfish i asked for the sling and you'll see me shooting a, a lot of bigger mangroves and some hogfish with it so it's pretty pretty cool rest Take of the it. video and right here right after i handed up that hogfish another giant swam by so i go down with the sling and this one for some reason was a lot more you know standoffish than your usual hogfish so i kind of had to take a long first shot with my sling but i do end up taking it and landing it and it stuck very well And right here, this was just my back dive to go and get that hogfish and kind of just hold up in this little thing right here. And you'll see him just laying flat there with the shaft in him. I didn't spot him quite at first. I don't know how, but I do spot him right there. And I, there's a lot of line fish up inside there, so I didn't want to swim through. So I swam around to the other side and kind of grabbed him and made sure my shaft went all the way through by kind of pushing on him a little bit here. You'll see I kind of shove it all the way through and make sure it, he doesn't get off and make my way to the surface with him. There's some giant mutton swimming around. Toby! And right here you'll see me look back down and I see this giant mangrove swimming around and Hugo goes down to shoot it and I didn't realize that my GoPro was on so I go to click to turn it on to film him shooting it but I turned it off as he shot it. But yeah, giant mangrove. Oh my god. So bro. That's bigger than Toby, if that's not the biggest mangrove you've ever seen in your life. 
Oh, Here, look at this. I thought it was a fish. That is a Jeez. monster. He like makes my hog. It's a big hog fishing. It looks bigger. That's sick. Fat micro eh? Yeah, boy. Right here, my GoPro was acting up. It started acting up a little bit while we were diving here, but just a nice mangrove I got on the sling. Do you want to slow down? And um, right here on this dive, there was a bunch of mangroves piled up in these pieces of structure. So I go down, and you'll see me line up. I was actually lining up on a really, really nice one, but unfortunately, like a smaller one, he was, wasn't even small. He was still a very nice one, but I was aiming at a very very much larger one but managed to get one at least and I hit him with a really bad shot because he kind of just darted in front of the one that I was aiming at originally and again right here just another nice mangrove but um I actually switched back to the pole spear after this happened because I really did not want it to happen again and I don't like losing fish after I've put a hole in them and you can see he kind of just spins his way off the back here in a second which is really annoying and he mixed in with all the other mangroves and I was not able to find him again. But yeah that sadly happened but in a way it was a good thing because you'll see coming up here it was just kind of a blessing in disguise that I had my poles here for this. Just these, this group of African pompanos swim up here, and luckily I had my poles here in my hand, so it made it an easy job for me to land this one. And you'll see, I was, I kind of darted at them because I was really excited, and I was just wasn't thinking, and they started to swim away, but kind of held back, and they came right back in on me, and I got one of the better ones out of the school. And um, this guy right here, he, he still had streamers, which I found really weird because the juvenile ones, they, they have the streamers. And this one was pretty big to still have its streamers, if, if I had to say my own opinion on it. But still a pretty cool fish overall. And yeah, uh, after I hand him up on the boat, there's a clip of him up on the boat that I'll show. It kind of really shows that he, he was pretty decent size, so I really don't know why he still had his streamers. Yep, but again, went back to shooting mangroves, and I kept with the pole spear, hoping maybe another one would come back in and I could line a shot, but that did not end up happening. But yeah, another nice mangrove here pops up, and I quickly changed my lining onto a different one, and I hit him. Cabrera. I thought it was a Cabrera, that's why I just bolted at it. So we got a nice ass Cabrera. Anyways, that about wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Leave comments. Let me know anything you think I could do better. Just some suggestions. I've been reading everything. I I got that one suggestion about blocking out the cussing, so I did that as best as I could this video to be better for some of the viewers that may be younger. Just any suggestions you guys have, I am paying attention, and thank you for watching.